So we are visiting uh, the Netherlands again for this uh, demo, uh, the first few days of the Battle of Rotterdam. And one of the ways, one of the methods that we use at DICE to achieve this uh, amount of believability and realism in our game is physically based rendering. So what this means is that if you look at the, um, at the terrain here, the way that the sun and the light uh, interact with the surface and the materials, you get um, a physically based um, look from it. The, the way the light interacts with it behaves how it would in the real world. Um, and same thing when you look over the water here, you can see the way it reflects. Um, and everything is, is physically based, which just makes it feel coherent and realistic. But science doesn't get you the whole way when creating a beautiful game. So many of our artists are also taking lots of reference from the real world when creating our assets, particularly this uh, landmark White House of Rotterdam here. Um, is recreated at almost a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio. Um, look at that window we're walking by. It looks amazing. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so then look when look you at that. To the right here. It looks like glass. You could almost reach out and touch it. Yeah, this shows a great example of the, uh, the combination of ray tracing and our physical base rendering and the work that we've been doing with NVIDIA. It really comes together here. Hey, Jonas, look at, look at the reflection of the windows in the buildings, on the buildings. Yep, exactly. It's yeah, it's just working. Tracing. It's super nice. But of course, it's not a beautiful Dutch city without its own beautiful canals. So we can also walk over here. And of course, this is not just any normal canal. It's a ray trace canal. And we see the boats and the barges nicely reflected down there, as you would expect. And everything is looking really nice. But I would like to deep, uh, or dive deeper into ray tracing and show you something more. So if we move to another area on the map, then here, uh, to the left in the scene, we have a Churchill Crocodile holding, and I have my friend Pavel in there, so if you can say hello to the audience for us, that'd be really nice. Hello there. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Look, look, check it out. That's perfect. Look at, look at, we can see him nod right in the water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's reflecting. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah, if you could do another favor for me and No, of and course, start. we would expect that in reality, right? These, these things that happen in reality, when we're able to reproduce it using computer science, it brings us so much joy. Yeah, exactly. It's super cool. So, uh, yeah, if you can do me a favor and we can start looking at some more ray tracing, if you shoot your fire cannon uh, across the scene here. Then with ray tracing on, when looking down into the puddles, even when the flame effects is off screen, we still get the reflective view of the fire as we would expect. But with ray tracing off, when we turn that off, even though the fire is shooting, you can hear it in the background, we don't see it reflected anymore. So then if we turn RTX back on again and we move forward up to the tram cart, then inside the window of the tram cart right here, Oh, look at that. And again, you can see the flame flying through the scene, moving dynamically. And not only do we reflect the dynamic moving particle effect, we also get a much more accurate representation of the surrounding environment. So, for example, you can see there's a, yeah, a high fidelity reflection of the surrounding city. Um, but with RTX off, then you don't get any of the same fidelity as, as you would before, even when running the game in high quality. Um, and then we've implemented a special little neat feature in this build for you, so we can slow down the time scale of the VFX. And if we turn RTX back on again, and then we can start shooting the tank's cannon on the sign over there, then we can see the explosion and the debris and the frostbite's destruction is also reflected in the ray trace view. Wow. Which, with RTX off, you lose all that detail. And this is just not nearly as exciting as it is with ray tracing on. Um, but of course, we even yeah, with ray tracing on again, we can move to the car, um, and even complex surfaces like this is not a problem for ray tracing. So when we shoot our tank flame over it again, you can see it on the fender of the car, on the hood, um, everywhere. It's it's being reflected how you would expect. Um, and a little fun thing is if we move to the back of this car here, and we move around it, then we can in fact see our own soldier reflected in there. <laughs> yeah. And that, of course, is together with the flame that's being reflected in the car, and not just the car, also the street windows to the side, in the tram, and everywhere, the whole environment, everything is being ray traced. Um, that's incredible. Jonas, thank you. Congratulations. That's great. But I think we have this really, really cool uh, weapon in the game. Uh, it's called a V1 rocket, and it's got a pretty big flame. I think <laughs> it would be interesting to see how that looks when ray traced. So, Pavel, if you can call that in and drop it at the end down there. Let's see how that looks. Right there. 
And that explosion is being ray traced again in the whole environment, how you would expect. Oh, you see it in the windows, you see it everywhere. That's yeah. really fantastic. Thank okay. you. Sure thing.